And Florida State football, the programming tweeting out this earlier, just a short time ago, play for Dre. There you see Blackman on the left, DeAndre Francois on the right, that unfortunately now becomes a spectator for the rest of the season. Ray Crawford here in our stadium studio, joined by former Florida State defensive back Bryant McFadden, who was at the game in Atlanta on Saturday. When you talk about a national championship contender in Florida State, to me, and I don't know if you agree or not, I feel like Francois was to the Seminoles like what Deshaun Watson mm -hmm. was to Clemson the last couple of years. Would you agree with that, how big of an impact he makes? What's well, a big impact? I think the difference between DeAndre and Deshaun, Deshaun was considered one of the best players at that position in the league, in college football, I'm mm -hmm. sorry. DeAndre was not quite on that level. But to this team, yes, this is a huge loss because they lack experience players behind him yeah. and with that being said now you have to force a freshman that was supposed to redshirt Jimbo and staff had all intent on redshirting Blackman but Blackman came into camp and really blew everyone away with how well he was able to pick up the system and how he executed the office and therefore he was named the backup quarterback I can't say this this is a big loss but right now I believe in what I've heard from Tallahassee. Mm -hmm. Blackman has the strongest arm on the team. He has one of the more accurate, he's one of the more accurate passes on the team. Mm -hmm. And the mental game, right now where he is as a freshman compared to when DeAndre was as a freshman, he's above DeAndre for the mental. And when I was in the locker room before the team went out for the first kickoff in Atlanta this past Saturday, guess who was rallying the troops together before they ran on the football field? James Blackman. Wow. And I was impressed mm -hmm. and I was shocked because this is a freshman that was not supposed to take one snap. Yeah. But he was in the locker room standing in front of every player and was rallying them, getting them fired up. And the unique thing that I saw, none of the experienced veteran players said anything. They were listening. So clearly this guy has leadership yeah. ability. Yeah. Uh, you don't have to go back very far in college football history to 2014. Ohio State, they lost Braxton Miller yeah. in fall camp, their projected starter. Then they had JT Barrett go down with injury. Cardale Jones, they were three quarterbacks deep and still won the national championship. Do you think there's a pathway here for the Seminoles somehow with Blackman to do what Ohio State did in 2014 and still find themselves in the playoffs? Yeah, when you look at what Ohio State was able to do, the quarterbacks that played for them when Braxton went out, played exceptionally well. Mm -hmm. But they also had a reliable run game to rely on. Yeah, That took pressure from the new quarterbacks in JT Barrett and Cordell Jones. Florida State, they need to do the same thing. They need to find a way to take pressure off of the true freshmen. The offensive line, they need to play much better. Granted, I was a bit surprised because they didn't do a bad job Saturday against Alabama. They had a few hiccups here and there, but for the most part, they played good football. But they have to find a way to run the football better than what they displayed on Saturday night. And my biggest concern for Blackman, when you look at his body, he's a bit frail. Yeah. They list him at 185. Mm -hmm. I don't think he's 185. Mm -hmm. Not too many quarterbacks can take the pounding that DeAndre yeah. has received over the last year and what he received Saturday night. Can Blackman withstand that type of pounding? Because he will get hit. He will get hit a lot. That's the nature of the game when you're playing quarterback. But this is a tough guy. Arguably the toughest quarterback, DeAndre, toughest quarterback in college football. When you're 170-something pounds and you got 300-pounders falling on you consistently, that's tough to get up from. But he, he's a tough kid. Yeah. He's a tough kid, yeah. so I can't wait to see, see what he has in store. It's sort of like what Tim Lenefeld said. It was never projected that he was going to really play it all this year. Exactly. So, so now you go from a young man to have 12 months to kind of put on some weight mm -hmm. on his frame. No, it's, it's you got to get going now.